to my channel. My name is Claire Lorraine, so my friends call me Claire, and I guess if you want to be friends, you can call me that too. So this is my very first YouTube video. Like, oh my God. And for it, I decided that I'm just kind of going to do a general introduction and kind of just talking about why I started YouTube and what my plans for this this space is. I am on summer holidays from uni for four months and it is a hell of a long time. It really is. Um, and I don't have a job. So I was sitting thinking, you know, what am I going to do this summer? And then I decided that I wanted to work on building my skills and myself as a person, you know, self-improvement. And what actually happened was that I read this book called The Happiness of Pursuit by Chris Gilly, Gilly, you, my accent cannot pronounce a surname, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. Anyway, this book is about quests, and what are quests? Quests are pursuits, goals that people aim to achieve, and at the start of this book, there was a quote it says, if you like complacency and mediocrity, do not read this book. It's dangerously inspiring. It will make you want to do amazing things with your life. And let me tell you, I was so inspired by this. It was crazy. It's people who I choose something that they love to do or a goal. Like there's women, a woman who um, follows birds, travels around the world seeing birds. There's people who walk thousands of miles, people who go see every church. Um, Basilica, I think it was a girl did. Uh, people who like learn languages. It's all about little quests and goals that people do to achieve for themselves. It seriously inspired me to get my shit together. And in it, there's a girl that I kind of identified most with, and it was a woman called Sasha. Because I'm just an ordinary person, you know, I can't just take off and fly to another country, and I can't just walk thousands of miles. I'm stuck here for the summer, so I needed something that I could actually do every day. And there is a woman in this called Sasha who did an everyday quest, and in her quest, she chose to cook an entire meal for each country in the world's cuisine every week with all an alphabet and an A to Z or Z if you're American fashion. And a quest, they say, has a clear goal, measurable progress from a sense of calling or mission and generally have like a start and an end date. So I was sitting thinking what could be my quest and that A to Z thing just went bing! That is it! The reason this relates entirely to YouTube is that I play the clarinet. I have played it for many years and I really wanted to start playing music that I personally listen to and that I enjoy. But the thing is, there is so many songs that I love. Like I read a list of songs that I wanted to play and I was like, there's just far too many. Like it's crazy. And then I was like, I don't know how to play Pepper. How am I going to choose songs? Like I just can't do it. And actually I read a lot of psychology books and in one of the books there was a study done. I think it was done on jam. Don't get me wrong, I think it was jam. They had a shop and um, it says you have like, I don't know, right? I don't, don't quote me on the figures, just take the general principle, but there's like jam. And if you have like five varieties of jam, people are more likely to pick one and buy one. But when you start getting like 20 and 30 and 40 different varieties of jam, it's just too much information. It's like information over like how do you pick? And I myself know that I'm one of those people. If there's too many options, I'm just like, no. I can't even do that. I'm, I'm just going to do something completely different that I don't have much choice. That was the thing with all these songs. And then when I read that book, which um, I'll link in the description, I was like, oh my god, that is what I will do. I will take her idea and do the A to Z. My quest is to learn the song for every letter of alphabet in the clarinet. So I'm going to do clarinet covers. And in alphabet, there's 
26 letters. I told myself there's 26 letters. So I worked out as 26 songs that I'm going to do and cover. And I decided that, you know, I'm going to learn these songs anyway. I'm going to play them and cover them. So might as well just put them on the internet. You know, there might be like a tiny chance that someone else is interested in them or wants to hear them. I don't know. But anyway, it would be like a good thing for me to document so I can look back when I'm older and just see my musical progression, my musical journey. And the other thing is when I was lucky enough, you know, starting YouTube, a lot of people say that you're meant to just pick a niche and stick to it. And I was like, well, that's like really well and good if you have a niche. But as a person, I'm so random. Like I am all over the place all the time. Well, most of the time I am just completely gone with the fairies. And I was like, if I do that, just pick one thing. I'm not really being true to myself as a person because I like so many different things. I like sports, I like being outdoors, I like animals, I like food, I like eating food, I like hair and I like makeup and I like funny videos and I like tags and I like just messing around and I like talking about things. Oh yeah, that is the main point. That's the main thing that I was actually going to get to. I'm like really introspective. Like I really like to think about things and understand things. So that's also a reason why I really wanted to do YouTube so I could have an outlet for all the crazy thoughts that go on in my head. Just put them out there on the internet. So the plan is Tuesday and Fridays. They are the days that I have decided. On Tuesday I'm going to put up my clarinet cover. Obviously starting at A and then the next would be B, C to D. And then on Friday I'm going to put up just a random kind of vlog video on whatever I kind of feel like, whatever I'm going through or my friends are going through or something I've been thinking about. Um, because like I said, I really like to talk about things and I really like to see different points of views and opinions on topics and just kind of tear them apart. I like getting to the meat of like heavy topics and stuff. I don't know, I just like, I like to think about things quite a lot. So that's what I'm going to do on, fri on Fridays and probably be like also like random nice like more fun videos as well so it's not all like really serious and life issues but yeah so that is it Tuesdays and Fridays clarinet covers and then whatever the hell I feel like anyone wants to watch that but, so yeah that is it we have reached the end of my video it's like how do you end all I have to say is if you've stuck with me, thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. You're amazing. And if you have any suggestions about the things that I could talk about, how I could improve, covers that you want me to do, and if you're doing any quests yourself, so if you have any like goals this summer, I would love to hear them because I think people are so interesting and it's really good to see other people are doing stuff to kind of like motivate. We can like motivate each other and support each other if you want. And I'll write some like stuff in the description bar. So yeah, just if you want, you can like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I just hope that wherever you are in the world, if you are enjoying what you're doing, if it's night, morning, day, whatever, I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you again on Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <sighs>